And now let's talk about the world of artificial intelligence or AI. It's moving at lightning speed and its hero just acquired a new superpower. What are we talking about? Chat GPT. It can now see. Its parent company, OpenAI, has released GPT-4. It is the latest version of the super hit AI chatbot. Think of it as an update. Just like our phones get a software update, ChatGPT has got an update too. But before we talk about this update that's making waves, let's understand once again what ChatGPT is. This chatbot was launched in November last year. It has been used by millions of people since. In fact, it added 100 million users, new users, in just two months after its launch. And this is the fastest ever growth. No other app or software has grown its user base at this speed. And what does it do? It can answer questions using human-like language. It can also mimic writing styles. It has cracked college-level entrance exams and written poems. It has also written code and suggested marketing copy. Where does it get this information to do all of this? It culls data from the internet. Its database has information up to 2021, so a bit outdated, but useful nonetheless. And GPT-4, the new version, will take all of this to the next level. It has learned to be more precise and accurate. It can now respond to images. Look at this visual. You will see how it analyzes an image and gives paragraphs of description. Similarly, if you show it a picture of ingredients and ask for a recipe option, it will tell you. This feature can be useful for visually impaired people. It can also process up to 25,000 words. This is eight times as many as the previous model used by ChatGPT. It also has more advanced reasoning skills. Think of it as an engine that can power chatbots, search engines, and even online tutors. And who can use this? Who can use GPT-4? As of now, it's available to ChatGPT users with a premium subscription. That's $20 a month. It's already powering Microsoft's Bing search engine. Morgan Stanley Wealth Management is using it to build an information system. An online education company will use it to build an automated tutor. And OpenAI does not plan to stop here. In the long term, it wants the system to juggle between different media like sound, video, text and images. As you can tell, the update is clearly an improvement, and it also comes with the same baggage as ChatGPT. But it also comes with the same baggage as ChatGPT. OpenAI spent six months on the safety features of GPT-4, but it can still not be trusted completely. It might hallucinate, which is tech language, for AI inventing facts or making errors. And GPT-4 is, is an expert on some subjects, but it completely lacks knowledge about others. It can also offer precise medical knowledge while it makes errors in basic math. But companies part of the AI chatbot race will have to put up with this imprecision simply because of the way they have bet their future on this technology, like Microsoft, that has invested $10 billion in open AI. Another reason is the speed at which AI is developing. It has made the world unpredictable. Experts are calling it a tectonic shift, almost as crucial as the creation of web browsers in the 1990s. And OpenAI is not alone in the shift. Tech giants like Google and Meta are also working towards this goal. They're building their own chatbots and AI technology. This technology is at the cusp of changing work as we know it. It's exciting. It's also scary. Is AI coming for our jobs? There is disruption for sure. Some jobs might go, others might be created. Hopefully we don't have to worry because even the most impressive technology complements workers. But there are other risks too. This phase is seeing extremely powerful technology. And if we can learn one thing from history, it is that tech will be used for both good and evil. Ultimately, which direction this goes in lies in the hands of the companies that are developing it. So are they being transparent? in where they get their information from? Are they policing the sources? What about the government? Will they be able to move quickly and establish legal guardrails for this kind of development? Looking at the government's experience with social media policies gives us an idea and it's not very encouraging. But this can be seen as a cautionary tale. So we do better this time.
because the worst risks could be the ones we can't even anticipate yet. Of course, the world does not have all the solutions right now, but one thing is undisputed. GPT-4 is a big step forward. Every short and accurate response by the technology is a giant leap for mankind.